Hi, this is Jack Mack and I want to talk to you about the fascinating science of genetics. Well, in actual fact, I want to talk to you about the new exciting field of genetic science called epigenetics. Now, epi literally means above. So when I say epigenetics, I mean above genetics. Our bodies are made up of cells and inside our cells there's a nucleus. Inside the nucleus are things called chromosomes and our chromosomes are made up out of DNA, which is our genetic blueprint for life. Our DNA blueprints are completely finalized at the moment of conception and they never change throughout our entire lifetime. These blueprints determine our default future physical characteristics. Things like whether we'll be male or female, how tall we might grow, what our hair or eye color might be, etc. However, the genes don't always do what they're supposed to do. Although the DNA blueprint never changes, the packaging around the DNA, things called methyl groups and histones, sometimes switch off the gene and therefore stop it from acting according to plan. Epigenetics studies these potential changes and how these changes can be passed along to our children along with the DNA itself. It's like sticking post-it notes to a blueprint and saying, that's the plan, but don't do that part of the plan. To understand this best, it helps to think about Twins. What's up? What's up? Identical twins have the exact same genetic DNA blueprint in every single way. And if we separate two exact identical twins for three decades, the first experience is a peaceful, happy life with access to a healthy diet and no major emotional trauma or stress in his work. The other is malnourished as a child, addicted to drugs as a teen, and grows overweight in his 20s. He loses his wife to a car accident and has a very high stress job. Standing them side by side after 30 years, we would likely see some very visible external differences. But more than that, there would be lasting changes at an epigenetic level. The blueprint would remain unchanged and identical, but the overriding cellular activity would have changed the way some of those genes had expressed themselves permanently. This science is very new, but early indications suggest that these epigenetic changes not only impact the individual, but can potentially be passed on to children, grandchildren, and beyond. Things like stress and diet seem to have a profound lasting effect over how our genetic blueprint operates. And so a stressed pregnant mother with a bad diet could potentially be impacting the epigenetics of her grandchildren. This is a fascinating new field of science and one we're certain to hear more about. But for now, I'll just be trying to manage my own diet and stress, not just for my sake, but for the sake of my grandchildren. Jack Mack, over and out. <laughs>